Not all of them. You can turn the front ones on. Everyone has a goal in life, whether it is to raise a good family, finish law school, or even win a Super Bowl. To be able to reach your goals in life, you need to know what you need to do to achieve, have the will to put forth full effort, and achieve what it is you want. Chris Godfrey did all three of these examples. He made it to the NFL, then raised a family, then graduated from Notre Dame Law School. Born on May 17, 1958, Chris grew up in Detroit, Michigan, near a sm small parish named St. David's in a good neighborhood with a lot of big families. In fifth grade, Chris tried playing on the seventh and eighth grade boys football team at St. David's, but uh, the coach wouldn't let him since he was too young. But he was allowed to do the drills with them, but when the pads came on, he had just to be like a water boy or something. In sixth grade, the, uh, the coach led him on the team as a backup, long, or a backup center. And uh, during the first game, uh, the center and the quarterback weren't uh, exchanging the ball too well. So the coach grabbed Chris by the face mask and said, Get in there and make sure you get the ball to the quarterback and put him in the game. And uh, from then on, he was starting center um, all the way through eighth grade. And um, in eighth grade, they were undefeated. And all their games seemed so easy because their practices were so tough. Toughness molded Chris and his teammates to push through both, uh, push through, uh, both mentally and physically. Um, during their practices, they, uh, they would only get one water break. And uh, the team captain would uh, like have them go to the water fountain and they would only get a 10 second drink from the water fountain each day. Um, being tough was the basis of everything Chris did in football. In high school, he, uh, he attended De La Salle high, high School and uh, he wasn't too big until junior year when he started to get some playing time. He played center, uh, tight end, and defensive end in high school and he, was, he had a really hard working mentality which was good for the team. Um, during his senior year, Chris uh, was offered a scholarship by Michigan and uh, he accepted it. It was a great opportunity for him because he got to play under one of the best coaches in college football, Bo Schembechler. Bo Schembechler. And uh, so during uh, his freshman year in uh, Michigan, uh, he broke his hand, but he still played with a cast on it. And um, sophomore year, he started getting some playing time as a defensive end. And then junior and senior year, he won a starting spot as a defensive end. Um, and then after graduating college, he uh, entered the NFL draft, but ended up being a free agent and he was picked up by the Redskins. Uh, during the last day of preseason camp with the Redskins, he was cut, and uh, then he was picked up by the New York Jets and uh, played a full year with the Jets. And uh, the next year, going into, uh, going into preseason, the day before preseason uh, camp started with the Jets, he, uh, he slipped on a mattress and uh, chasing one of my sisters around the pool, and uh, he... Uh, was cut from the Jets because uh, they didn't want to hurt players. So he was picked up by the Green Bay Packers and put on injured reserve for a full year. Um, and then after he was recovered from that injury, um, well, he was cut from the Green Bay Packers for being injured. So then after he recovered from that injury, he was, um, he was there, there was a new league that started up called the USFL. It was a spring league. And so he joined the Michigan Panthers for two years. And in one of those years, they won the championship. Um, then after playing in the USFL, uh, Chris was, um, he was picked up by the New York Giants, and uh, the New York Giants put him in as an uh, offensive lineman, and he was starting uh, right guard for, the, for four years, and in those four years, he won a Super Bowl with the Giants in uh, the 1986 uh, Super Bowl 21 team. Um, um, he, um, and he got to play under the, one of the best coaches in uh, the NFL history, which is Bill Parcells. Um, he ended his career with the S Seattle Seahawks, and uh, he retired after a year, and he played nine years in the NFL. Not many people can say that they have played in the NFL, let alone win a Super Bowl. Going through the story of Chris Godfrey's life as a football player, we saw that he played with passion and toughness. He always left it on the field without regret. He recalls a quote that Bill Parcells once said to him, success is never final, but failure can be. As he went on in life after football, he remembered this quote. He attended Notre Dame Law School and raised a family of six. In his mind, he is still succeeding by sending all of his kids to great schools and in good directions like he did.